Right, how's it going, Rose and Hoes? My name's Dr. Karen Pro, and I'm bringing you another tutorial on Visual Studio, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a program that I've made called the Bleeper. And this makes a really loud noise, so um, maybe when I turn your volume down, it gives you some time to do that. So now your volume should hopefully turn down, it will, and then you can make it bleep constantly, and then just the stop button stops it, and then um, so. Um, I'm just going to open this so I have the code because I've not got it in my head right now. Um, so um, I'll just open this so I can make this project. So um, you can do whatever you want. Um, the bleeper one is actually quite cool. So you can do it to do whatever you want. You can do it to play your music and stuff. But you see that's why I've got Spotify to do that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to make it play some music. So first, we'll start off, we'll get rid of the icon, because, and maximize box off. Make it, we'll just keep it standard size right now, and we'll just call this, we'll just call this, Repair Tutorial. So yes, I'm actually going away to Argentina next week, so I won't actually be making any videos next for the next five days, like starting next Monday. Um, so between now and Sunday, I'll try and get as many t tutorials uploaded as I can, so you guys can, if you do what actually watch them, watch them while I'm away. So you want to add three buttons. You can put as many as you want, because if you're putting more stuff in, I recommend you putting in more buttons, so I'll just make this button too. And if you want, you can name them. I recommend for this kind of thing, you name them. Um, I'll try and get that like that. And I'll just make the program like that size. I'll just make it like that. We'll just call it Bleeper Tut because that fits in perfectly. And heap. We'll just call this Bleep. Stop. And we'll just put Bleep C. We'll bleep constantly. So all you do is, I'm just going to rename these, well, up well, you can, if you want, I'm, I'll just call it, it's easier, just give them a name, and then I'll just call this, bleep constantly. So to do this, you just double click and one of the buttons for bleep, obviously, um, now this is the code here. Right, so here I would say it so you guys can just say it. That's why I'll copy it and then. Oh, there's more you have to do before this, so sorry, sorry. Um, let me just get this and save it. So we'll just go into project. Bleeper, or whatever you've called it, prod properties, your resources, and um, change it to audio. And then you you'll just um like you you just probably do that you just do this and just say um you've got it somewhere. You just drag it into it. But anyway, that's not what we're here to do. So bleep clip. Yeah, I've got the design of it. So here we just, you know, and then, so after you've done that, I'll, just, I'll copy this code, and then you guys can, I'll say it out, and then you guys can just copy it, you can see. Because I've sat and I've worked on this a lot. So my dot computer dot audio dot play, and so I'll just give you time to do that. And then um, do open parentheses, so um, an open bracket, my dot resources dot 
then what what it's called so mine's beep underline zero um point twenty or zero twenty five sec um and then comma space audio play mode dot background so it'll play in the background and then when you want it um it's so easy um crap what's this just done yeah well, so I need to go do it in this project so what is it change this audio I'll just get the audio so give me a minute um, but if that's any mistake my mistake I'm done for Well, we hear GC5 in the background, so give me a minute. Sounds pretty totally off. No, you can. I have no idea where I've put this, so I'll just. This will just open. Um, oh crap, just restore it then first. Um, I'll have to extract this again. And if you're having raw files, you need to have, yeah. <laughs> so we will just, this will just, um, move it so we can drag this on. And from here, the coding is super easy. All you have to do is for bleep constantly just copy what you've just done there again but instead of background do background loop now this will loop it which i'll show you in zooming in so that bleeps it that bleeps it constantly which i hate and then for stop it's super easy you just control v oh, just control c just control v c up to my computer dot audio dot play and I'll change the play to stop and then that's it done so now you can do it as easy as you can so there we go we've got an easy bleeper which you can troll your friends with you know so that's how you make it and that's the easiest thing ever hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time bye Brrr.